Hey everyone, Rarity Dash here, and this is another special blind reaction. This was chosen by the winner of my latest community challenge, which was a contest to design my new end card, which I've been using on all my videos for this month, pretty much. Well, all the videos that are on YouTube, the stuff that gets redirected doesn't get an end card because, I mean, there's no way to really link stuff from them, so there's no point to it. But uh, yeah, on all the YouTube videos, I've had that end card. And it was, it was designed by Shitlord, who was the winner of the contest, and uh, he got his prize, which is this video. A single video request, and this is the one he chose. People I Hate by Filthy Frank. So yeah, that makes two Filthy Frank videos uh, in two weeks. We're, uh, yeah, really fully immersing ourselves in this guy's content. And both videos are courtesy of the same person, if you're wondering. Uh, Shitlord is also a Patreon supporter, so he got another video request, the previous one. Uh, just for his regular patron support. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, considering my reaction to the the previous Filthy Frank video, Hair Cake, I just, I'm not really sure how to feel going into this one. That video, it was a bit much for me. I mean, I, I think it provided a pretty, uh, I, I provided a pretty good reaction there. I, I think people liked it, but I mean, I'm not sure I liked it. I think that was kind of maybe a little gross, and uh, I just, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> Not really my thing exactly. But uh, this, I mean the title here, it definitely sounds a lot more promising. People I hate, I definitely could see how that could be pretty funny. Uh, as, like, I mean, a lot more so than the title Hair Cake, which just on its face sounds like it's going to be incredibly gross, and it was. So, uh, this might be this might give me a better idea of why people like Frank, because uh, so far I'm not really sure I'm exactly sold. But maybe maybe this will get me there. <laughs> we'll see. Anyway, let's get started. Here we go. Oh, okay. This is there's the famous meme. Is this thing on? What's up, ladies? The king oh. is back. Are we learning Japanese, Japanese in the background? Believe, but I'm single. That's interesting. And so is that dance. Hey, it's your boy. You won't get some of this dick. Why don't you come up here and shake that little pussy? Gather yeah. around, folks. Gather around. Papa Frank is about to drop some B-14 truth bombs on your ass. You see, there are certain classes of people in this world that should not be here. Who should breed. Far, far, far away. Okay. From now I don't go outside for obvious reasons like this, this, this. And this. <laughs> but today I'd like to go a little. Pretty bit good down. reasons. You know, just people that nobody likes in general. I'm gonna call Child Protective Services. Why don't we start with some easy ones, huh? This is a big one. People who self-diagnose. You can usually see this on, uh, you know, Tumblr bios, yeah. Twitter bios, yeah. uh, Instagram bios. You know, anxiety. I, I have a depression. It's like a bipolar. Don't come near me. Oh. You can go <laughs> What's that? up to your friends and tell them that you have depression, anxiety, or I want attention syndrome. I wow. Mind. You go to the doctor, you get a note, and then you tell me you have Gotta love I want attention oh, syndrome. Oh, hey, Frank, what's up? How you doing? Uh, Here's the gun. What? Here's the doctor's note. Just fucking do it. It's what time. You gotta put this on. No, you gotta fucking kill <laughs> Why the hat? Girls who say they only have guy friends because girls are too much drama. Oh, let me show you what that sounds like. Okay. Oh. Uh. Why'd you leave me? What the hell? Why is school kids on public transport? Oh. Uh, you ever wonder what happens to the kids that don't get beaten? You're on the train or you're on the bus. High school kids doing pull-ups on the bars, you know, being really loud. Playing music really loud out of their headphones, which kind of defeats the purpose. Do you just wake yeah. up in the morning and think, holy shit, I'm going to be a tumor today. You know there are people wow. coming home from work on their 9 to 5 jobs that they probably hate. And they finally get <laughs> off work and they finally get to relax. And oh boy. What do you know? The train is crawling with cancer. You know these people don't have cars, right? That's why they're riding public transport. So yeah. You know their yeah. lives are already shit. <laughs> Scooters are a fucking problem. We need to stop that immediately. Just, just, just fucking stop, please. Those kids that wear the khaki shorts and the black DC shoes. 
Hey, how about how about we stop that, huh? Let's just stop that. Like that's the reason I'm stop all of it. If you see a yeah. kid like this, do the world a favor. Take the kid out back. Look at the sunset together and just shoot him in the back of the head. Trust me, <laughs> you have a favor to notify your school immediately. And for the love of Chin Chin, can we please stop this? Chin Chin. These things make Heelys look like God's gift. That's the equivalent of wearing a sign that says, hey, just fucking spit on me. You know, you're wow. basically standing in a wheelchair. Right? Yeah, you know that's pretty lame. Moron that is? People who base their whole fucking life on astrology. Oh. That is such a Gemini thing to say. <laughs> I knew it. You can't trust those Scorpios, girl. She's like really, really nice. Nice but demonstration. But she's a Scorpio, oh. so I just... Oh. And then, like, a fucking website tells them, Today, Gemini, you're gonna be an insert basic human trait. Oh, oh my gosh, that's so me. Oh my gosh, a family member did die within the last ten years. <laughs> oh. There's a certain class of people that I'd never want to go near, and it's people who share BuzzFeed and Elite yeah, articles. Yeah, yeah, best I mean, to you, avoid you them. Can, you can post, you can post whatever all. the fuck you want, I'm all for it. But, uh, I mean, I've never heard like that. It's kind of like wearing a sign around your neck that says, I'm sure it's Hey, awful. guys. I'm not very bright. Gamer girls. Rower. You know, wow. ladies, I'm looking for a nice gamer girl myself. The good kind. Horrible facial piercing. Dyed hair. Bright colors. Bad attitude and no general goals or directions. I love it. Let me sniff that little pussy so I can smell all the failure. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, what? I know. I'm not like the other girls. I straight edge kids who can't go five minutes without telling people that they're straight oh. edge. I don't need to drink. Or do any of the drugs because I'm high on life. That's right. Yeah. I'm high on life and I'm I'm better than everybody. <laughs> you guys you guys might as well call me Jesus from now on. I'm better <laughs> than everybody. But you know, as I always say, too bad you'll never be rad. It's very clear. Yeah. It's very clear. No longer know what I'm looking at. Yeah, that's healthy lifestyle here. This is a general thing that uh, I think everyone can agree on. Kids on the internet that are clearly under the age oh. of 10. Can I talk to your parents? Like, I want to talk to your parents and just ask them, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> now, believe me, that's I ain't pretty no fair. parenting expert, yes. but I'm not that stupid. Hey, I got a good idea. How about we don't put a 10-year-old on the internet? Yeah, you know what? That would be a good idea. Basically, this kind of stems into a bigger issue. Parents need to beat their fucking kids. Fucking wooden spoon, <laughs> belts, wow. smack, whatever. And you know, Papa's fair. Stay away from the face. The face ain't okay, but that ass is all game, boy. People who debate online in general, like any anything, just... People who debate with people they don't know online. <sighs> What's more annoying than the debate itself is the fact that people think their opinions matter on the fucking internet. <laughs> think about what you could have done in that two hours you spent writing paragraphs. He makes a very about good point. Bernie Sanders, you're yeah. so discontent with your life that you're arguing with people you've never seen before online. Are you... <laughs> Are you a fucking idiot? Who the fuck hurt you? I mean, Pink Guy doesn't even know how to read and he fucking hates it. Ain't that right? Uh... Huh. Can you leave? People who can't handle criticism and call you a hater. No, you have a fucking complex. But Frank, you have a segment called Newsweeds Hater Coming. That's just part of the joke. I know they're not haters. People who take pictures of the book they're reading and post them online. Or people who feel the need to express that they read. Holy <sighs> fuck. Somebody call CNN. People who love to travel. Wow, look at me. I'm so quirky and special. I like to travel. Wanderlust. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, hang on there. Before you go, how'd you do it? If you love to travel, I'm going to let you in on a little secret. Everybody loves to fucking travel. <laughs> who doesn't like traveling? Everyone else has no time to travel because they're working a nine to five job. You're not a world-class traveler. You just have time and money. Do me a favor wow. and twist your neck like this. And uh, if you go far enough, it, it's everything will just become black. <laughs> Stop. White moms with the bowl cut. They have this, uh, they have a thing called a God complex. They're always either yelling at a group of teenagers or asking to see the Never manager at a that. store. But... Always starting a scene. Like, don't you have a failed marriage to fix? Your husband's going to Florida three times a week on a business trip. Business trip. Isn't that a little, isn't that a little suspicious? He's got pictures on Facebook with a half Puerto Rican kid that looks just like him. 
You think that's his friend? That's fucking Ernesto. <laughs> <laughs> security okay. guards with god complexes. Excuse me, excuse me, Miss Mr. Security Guard man. You're a fucking hero to this country. How did you feel when you kicked those kids out of the mall for no reason? Must have felt real good, huh? Facebook pages that post these obvious clickbaits. No. Look at these ten crazy tattoos! You won't believe number six! And what's worse is there are people yeah. who fucking believe this. It's like 70% of the world's population lives in a trailer park. They essentially do. And finally... Wow. Finally. This gets on my fucking nerves. You know what I also hate? People who get way too preachy about the things they hate online. People who just talk about the shit that they hate, like everyone cares or something. What the fuck is that? I see what you're doing. Yeah, yeah. Huh? No? What are you fucking... What are you, what are you gay? <laughs> I think the pink guy has that, a point. That, that, that's enough, pink guy. That, that's enough. The camera's still on. That, that's enough. Excuse me, guys. Excuse, excuse me. It's filthy Frank, motherfucker. It's filthy Frank, bitch. Let's get some pussy tonight. Wow. Woo! We fixed the middle, baby. Okay. Okay. Well, that was uh, that was actually funny. I actually like that. That was uh, not like the hair cake. It wasn't too much. I mean, there were parts of it that were like that. There were parts of it that were just like, I, I mean, I, this is strange and gross, but uh, it was more contained this time. And uh, that made it easier to take. Most of it was just a rather amusing rant and uh, a lot of actually pretty good points of stuff that is legitimately annoying. And uh, I can appreciate that. I, I think, yeah, yeah, I, I actually rather, uh, rather enjoyed this. I thought it was good, good content. So, uh, I mean, with this one... Uh, <laughs> After this one, I think I'm ready for more Filthy Frank. After the last one, I wasn't so sure. Uh, but this, if it's more, if it's more stuff like this and less stuff like the hair cake, then I think I'll be okay. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. I think there are some other cake ones being discussed by my Patreon subscribers. So uh, it depends on how how kind they want to be to me. I, I guess we'll we'll see. Anyway, hope you liked the reaction. Let me know if you did, and see you in the next one.